when you are an immigrant, the typical question that people ask you is, uh, where are you from? Especially when you just came, it comes like really quick, right? So where are you from? I say, I'm from Guatemala. But through the years, all of a sudden, I start to think, I am from Lansing. Actually, I'm from Lansing, and I belong to this place, and it's my town. Oh, we're the capital city, and the downtown area was thriving when I was a kid, and then it wasn't, now it came back again. And the same thing happened with, with GM. GM could have went anywhere, and they put everything here, back in the Lansing. And I'm proud of that because a lot of us, our, our grandparents and our fathers, or our sisters or brothers worked there, so it's, a, it's embedded in our blood to be factory workers. People come from different places, and uh, they've been through this different uh, school system. By going to their house and delivering all this school, uh, all this information, they felt they are welcome and they learn and they're comfortable. They felt confidence to help the child become successful in their school. Nothing is more precious than being involved with our children. The fact that I get to provide the services for the services that I wish that I had when I was a new father is why I'm so passionate about this work. I think one of the most amazing things about Ingham County is the collaboration among community agencies and other nonprofit organizations and city leaders. What I find is that there's truly a collaborative effort. We are not battling against each other to outdo one another or be um, the leader. It's it's how do we make this place a better community for all. We've seen lives just completely changed just by having that one-on-one -on -one help. Um, they say money can't buy happiness, but it relieves a lot of stress. And so helping people to build assets, to have more money, to have more financial stability, it really does change their peace of mind, changes their emotional health, it changes their physical health. I'm very happy to see that many of the things that we started are sustained and are flourishing. One thing that's important that Ingham County has done is not just looking at diversity and equity and inclusion in a silo, but rather embedding it into everything that we're doing. And so we've taken the lead on some of these projects um, that have really been instrumental in changing the atmosphere of law enforcement. Our job is to make sure that we're getting the resources to those families that need it. What was the root cause of getting a kid down a path that hopefully we can turn their life around. So My Brother's Keeper with our great program ties in very nicely with the HOPE Scholarship Program, the Promise Scholarship Program. So I'm actually a board member for both of those. We have focused on our insurance national headquarters, Fortune 500 companies, General Motors, advanced manufacturing, concentrating on Michigan State University and all the amazing spin-off high-tech jobs that are available. What economic development does is helps families live better. It helps communities have more revenue. It helps blighted sites come back on the tax rolls. It helps contaminated sites get cleaned up. You know, these are the amazing, powerful things that economic development has impact on. I'll find who I want to be as an adult and what I want to do in a career while living here. Hopefully it can be the same for my children and they can find out who they want to be while being here, a part of this community and helping it grow. I just had a grandbaby, so just watching her, my children. Being in a community that cares, where you feel like you're a part of something, you know that the people that you live around, that they care about you and that you care about. I just really like it here and so I find happiness. This is home for me, so just being home. Thank you.